So welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching The Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Consider subscribing because we post weekly videos. All right, so we're gonna address a problem that we have on our big back porch here. And that is the afternoon setting sun that is in this direction right here. And because we have such a high porch roof, which we love, it gives us a big open airy feeling, but it allows the afternoon sunlight to come in. And now that I'm building our outdoor kitchen, which is directly behind you, I'm catching myself working late in the afternoons, catching a lot of sun. And when we come out here to cook and grill and hang out, sometimes that sun can be a bit much. So I have been searching and searching, finally found some 10 foot wide roller shades. That size has been hard to find, plus in a longer length, eight foot. Found some, and we're gonna have to build some brackets today, get those installed up back here behind me because the post spacing back there is a little off from what the factory specs are. But that's no problem. We're gonna get it figured out. Let's get to work. Well, not five minutes in, we've already ran into our first problem. These are labeled as 120 inches wide, but by the time you get the brackets and everything else on, I wind up being about seven inches longer than advertised width. So you can see I'm sticking out way past the post. That's not gonna look the world's best, but we really do want these up. So I guess I'm gonna have to build some sort of wooden bracket that comes off the end of this post, the short one there in order to mount everything. That last mount on that end can just go straight to the house. All right, so it looks like the key with these brackets because they have such a big groove cut in them so you can slide them back and forth. So I think the plan is to loosely put this up like you just seen. I'll slide this into the very end of here. There's also a special bracket on the other end that kind of has a groove to where you can snap in from the outside. But I think I think it's still gonna be better to leave this loose and push it in and tighten everything up. Even though you technically should be able to pop this end out while this is tight. But I wanna make sure everything is as snug as can be because that little piece right there is all that's keeping this from blowing out the wind and falling to the ground. So I really wanna push this in before I tighten it down. All right, so I'll snap this other end in. Get everything pushed together nice and tight and cinch it down. I think for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra screws in those sliding slots to make for sure this never slides out this direction. Now what I did to make sure I had all this nice and level and working by myself was, I used my handy dandy laser tape measure here. Y'all know I love this thing. 
found the center of this bracket once I mounted this uh, wooden piece up here a minute ago. Measured to the ground, it was 11 foot, like 5 sixteenths of an inch. I went down here, measured down 11 foot, 5 sixteenths of an inch, made me a mark, and then I knew to measure from the back side of this post to where I put this bracket up here, and I also had to account for the thickness of that white trim right there, so I added that in addition to this post and measured over eight and three eighths of an inch is what it's come out to. So I found my up and down measurement and my measurement back and forth this way, right from this post by just holding a bracket up and shooting some quick measurements. And it got me perfectly lined up there. Well, I say perfectly, we'll get down on the ground and see how level this looks. Now, sadly due to these metal trusses with this pole barn style house we built, we can't go any higher than this, but that's okay. The sun cannot get up and over this anyways it is just going to be a little exposed and potentially catch some wind. So if I know that we have hurricanes or anything like that coming, I'll just come pop these down along with a few other things out here. Hopefully these hold up really well in afternoon thunderstorms. Yeah, time's going to tell. All right, so they are up. Does not look too terribly bad at all. Things look relatively nice and level. And I wasn't originally going to do wood brackets. But that looks okay. I, I can live with that, especially when that darkens up to the same color as this wood. I was going to go weld up some metal brackets, but no point in going through all that. But everything looks to be nice and secure in the brackets, but we have one really big problem. I think I got it figured out. Knock that pin out right there on this one. Knock the pin out of the hook there. That may fit in there. It's going to be tight. Might have to do a little bit of grinding. Repin it. See if I can get that to slide down over two for some extra support. Maybe relatively quick. Let's go try. Right, so here we go, it didn't take too terribly long. Got two of these pinned together now. Shouldn't be a problem reaching the mechanism. All right, that's working great. I'm gonna let these down and then we still have one more issue to deal with. Okay, so the issue is wind's obviously gonna blow this around. So these come with little bungee cords that go on the ends here and then you mount these pieces and the bungee cord drops in and locks and then you can take it back out later but because these hang so far past the pole might not be so much a problem here but that other end i have to figure out how to put a bungee cord out there because if i hook it and try to pull back to the pole well it's just going to wind up pulling this whole thing over like this and it's going to look horrible so i do have to come up with something there i'm already playing with one idea in mind Let's just see out of curiosity, we can get this to work. It may work. All right, so overall that worked out well. As you can see, we have a little bit of a wrinkle in the fabric because of the odd angles I'm pulling at, but I've already figured out a way to solve that issue. So one thing I am gonna do is go find me a, like a rubber stool cap or something, rubber chair cap that I can put on the end of this to make for sure this doesn't hit the house and rub paint right here in high winds. But you can see these hook up really nice and convenient. A double setup right there. And I was able to get this one to go to this pole. 
Now the reason we have loose fabric here is because I'm pulling so tight on that end, but I'm noticing I just had a pretty good gust of wind come through. I think I'll want to put a third strap on both of these anyways, and it'll help with this loose fabric. So they make screw in the ground tent stakes. You can get them off of Amazon, Walmart, wherever. They're really cheap. I think I'm gonna screw one in the ground right there and then have it to where I can hook a bungee cable from here to there. So if this bottom bar pulls straight and I straighten the fabric back out, it starts taking all that looseness out. Plus it'll really help this with the wind. So I think I'm gonna do that to both of those after the fact and just make sure this is extra strong and ready for the wind. The other thing I'm gonna do, look online, and see if I can find some more of these brackets. I'd like to mount some up, say, here, to where we don't always have to let the curtain all the way down. That way, if we wanna block some sun, but allow more breeze to come through, because I've noticed since I've just put these down, the breeze stopped. So I would like to have different heights, and I'm sure I can buy these cheap plastic brackets off of Amazon or somewhere else. So I think that's something I really wanna do, have it to where you can walk underneath to go out this way, or if it's really late in the afternoon, right before dark, and the sun's really coming in here, we can come all the way down eight feet. All right, well, this is going to make our afternoons a lot more bearable on this porch, especially when we're up here cooking and when we knock this outdoor kitchen out and really wanna use that space this afternoon sun. We love the north facing house. We've got a big pasture, beautiful view, but from about seven to 9 p.m. in the afternoons here in the summertime, well, we just catch way too much sun up here. And this is gonna solve that problem right here for relatively inexpensive. Didn't take me but an hour or so to hang all this. And I think I have a little over 200, maybe $240 in both of these. So if they hold up and we get a few years out of them, I think it's money well spent. All right, so to all our normal everyday viewers, I know y'all were wanting to get back to this outdoor kitchen build. So this is something I took the time to do to give me shade in the afternoons while I work on this and because I'm waiting on Tiffany to get home. We're about to make a run up into Georgia to pick up a lot more materials to finish building this outdoor kitchen. So yes, the videos are starting back up on this and I'll have you some out in just a couple of days. Thanks for watching.